Well, I'm not sure whether my next guest considers himself to be a part of the strong Victorian invasion, a true New South Welsh, but just returning home. But I caught up with Mark Pitt to discuss his outstanding season to date and also his association with the powerful Emma Stewart, Clayton Tonkin Stable. Well, Mark, great to catch up with you. Fresh from driving major celebrity to victory. I don't think you broke out a sweat, did you? Yeah, no, look, he, he was super today. Um, you know, he's first up from a spell, so um, I'm sure we're going to see more improvement for the final on the 27th. He's now made a three from three, this Colt. Uh, Mark, perfectly rated, 31-2, 30.9, 29, home in 27-3. I don't think he broke out in a sweat either. Yeah, look, no, he didn't. Um, he travelled so well and, um, you know, the race sort of panned out how, how I thought it was going to pan out. Um, you know, he got an easy trip. There's a, you know, he had to race into the headwind twice. So, um, you know, I'm sure there's going to be more improvement for the final. Well, Mark, I mentioned we've got a very strong Victorian influence here at Club and Angle today. Formerly from the Riverina, a birthplace of outstanding sportsmen and also harness racing participants. Yeah, look, it is. Um, you know, it's always great support around the industry, but um, you know, to come from New South Wales in such a from such a strong background um, with the family and that, you know, made the move to Victoria. But um, you know, t today it, there is a strong card of Victorians here. Your grandfather, Norm Dybert Senior, certainly one of the idols of that particular region. Yeah, look, he is. Um, you know, he's somebody that I've always looked up to. You know, from when I could um, walk, I sort of around the horses at um, at his stables, and you know, it sort of progressed from there. Mum Leanne, also a noted horsewoman. Of course, your father Ian, also a very consistent trainer driver. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, mum mum done a little bit of driving in her early ages, but um, you know, she she works full time now, and she's just a um, you know, a support crew now, and um, you know, she's got owns a few that we train, so which is good. And um, daddy, he, he's the same now. He's sort of watching on. Um, you know, he sort of put the training and driving behind a little bit, and he's sort of just happy to watch on. Mark, what influenced you to make the move to Victoria eight years ago? Yeah, look, it was a hard decision at the time. Um, I just first started driving, and you know, I probably sort of wasn't getting the opportunities I thought I would have got um, around the Riverina area because um, you know, a lot of trainers and drivers they like to drive their own, um, so it was sort of hard for a freelance driver to make a move um, in the industry. So I decided that um, to move to Victoria, and I got the opportunity to go and work for Wayne Potter at, at the time, and um, you know, I, I jumped on that pretty quick because um, Wayne's a pretty successful trainer. Mark, and also led to bigger and better things. It's been an outstanding move as far as you're concerned because you've been able to link up with one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, stable in harness racing these days, Emma Stewart and Clayton Tonkany. Great supporters of yours. Yeah, look, it was. Um, you know, Wayne, Wayne sort of helped me out and got me going. Um, and then when I made the move, to, I had to drive a couple for Emma and Clayton at the time, early, early days, and it sort of progressed from there. But um, to have a stable like them, you know, back you all the way through... Um, you know, it's just such a big thrill for me to be able to know that a stable like that is um, all the way behind me. Mark, you've spent some time on the sidelines, but you've come back bigger, better than ever with a desire and a hunger to succeed. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, we did we did um, spend a little bit of time on the sideline, but, um, you know, to be back now today, to doing what I love, you know, I'm more hungry than I was, you know, back in 2018 when it, when it all started. Mark, and what is a very tough and competitive market down south of the border with the number of outstanding drivers to be leading the Metropolitan Table with 28 so far this season? A big tick. Yeah, look, it is. Um, you know, it's a huge thrill for me. I've sort of never been able to get that high on the on the table, but um, you know, to miss the first six weeks of the season and to still be on top um, of the Metropolitan Drivers Premiership, it's such a big thrill at this stage. You know, I know there's a long way to go, and there's a lot of great drivers out there. The likes of Nathan Jack, Greg Sugars, Chris Alford, um, you know, it's hard to peg them back, but to have something on them at this stage in the season, you know, it's a big thrill. You're also running fourth on the straight drivers' premiership behind James Herbertson, Greg Sugars and Jack Law. 305 drives for 103 wins. What an outstanding strike rate. Yeah, look, it is a good, great strike rate. Um, you know, as you say, I've got a good stable behind me that, um, you know, it, it makes it a little bit easier driving, you know, for a big stable like that. They, um, you know, they just keep producing winner after winner. But as you know, they've probably got the best of the stock at this stage. Talking about the outstanding stock, Mark, at Melton last Saturday night, you drove Sir Lettick and Honolulu Bay to victory, both emphatic winners. Did one impress you over the other? Yeah, look, they are both nice horses. Um, I really like Honolulu Bay, um, you know, just the bottom he's got and the speed 
Um, you know, he, he, he's got it all. But as you say, Sir Ledic, you know, he's been there, sort of done that a little bit. But um, I'm sure later down the track, we're going to see more from him. Talking about down the track, Mark, when we get around that Inter-Dominion Carnival time, do you have a pick over these type of horses or it's a matter of sitting down with Emmer and Clayton and deciding the pool of horses and then the pool of drivers? Yeah, look, um, at this stage, you know, there's no set driver for any horse that, um, that I'm aware of. Um, so, you know, I'm sure down the track there's going to be talk on, you know, who drives who and, and what horses are going where. Always exciting times as far as the uh, Stuart Tonkin stable is concerned. No doubt some of the big guns will be returning shortly. Yeah, look, they will. Um, you know, they've sort of had a, probably a little let up for the last month or so, but, um, you know, you'll have to see some big guns very soon. Uh, just outside of Wayne Potter, who you've mentioned, and Emma and Clayton, other influences on your career? Yeah, look, there has been my partner, um, Lisa, you know. I probably couldn't, we're probably not here today without her support behind me. Um, you know, she, we train a small team at home, um, you know, and, and her support, and that is just such a big thrill for me. Well, Mark, it's been great to catch up with you. Continued success. Thank you very much.